To me, the first time to see Buto was the honesty in it. It just hit me when I saw a, a, a Buto performance. His name is Ledo, and he exemplifies the cross-cultural currents of the Bay Area. Born in Burma and raised in America, he's found his artistic calling in the modern Japanese dance of Buto. To see a good Buto performance is to be present in the space, and you're enveloped by it. There's something about the rawness of it, and that's something that hits us in the gut. It's not, it doesn't go to the mind. Ledo is part of a thriving local scene that has made the Bay Area an international center for Buto. Is it okay to start a little bit late like we did last night? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd rather get people seated than have people walk in late. We're doing East Bay Buto Bazaar, the second one. There will definitely tonight be some uh, other dancers in the audience, um, but it's it's always a mixed audience. You know, there's the community thing going on, and then also just uh, people who really enjoy the form and come out for that. These Bay Area artists are carrying on an avant-garde tradition that first surfaced in Japan during the period of social upheaval and rapid westernization that followed World War II. Buto's original title was Ankoko Buto, which translates to um, the dance of pitch darkness. The early Buto pioneers they were really trying to create something new that wasn't traditionally Japanese and that definitely was not Western. The basis of modern dance is expression, and that's very different than the premise of Buto. This is not just a, an art form. This is not a hobby. This is a way of life. Headland Center for the Arts in Marin County recognized Buteau's Bay Area presence when it recently invited Ledo to be a resident artist. While there, Ledo and his group Salt Farm are working to create a new performance piece. Salt Farm members, like Perry Hallinan, came to the group with no formal dance training, but they all contribute yeah. unique talents to the production. How's it going? Well, I'm just listening to the music, really and then putting it into the sequence. Perry's basically uh, helping me with the, the video aspect of this piece. And he's um, editing pieces at which we will be projecting. Well, where are we at? We're, I want rear projection, um, all of this, and then front projection, with the, starting with the sand. The new piece they are developing is called River of Sand. It's an exploration of Ledo's ethnic roots in the Karen Hill tribe of Burma and Thailand. We all have to help with the, the doomed feeling, you know, working with the underside of the panels. While Perry edits video, others in Salt Farm are transforming the old army gymnasium into a performance stage. Kind of the idea in Salt Farm is that everybody comes, shows up, and, and participates. What, you know, we're really counting on is that everybody's kind of in the same general direction. Ideally, by the fourth, we'll have how many <laughs> panels? Nine. Nine panels. So today we'll have just five. Because we're, we're doing... Uh, the rehearsals together, we're doing dinners together, you know, different people might be working on the costumes or the, the sets, you know, together. It almost ends up maybe not being as much improvisation as everybody kind of knows what, what they're supposed to do. So this is our first attempt trying on these costumes. So we're trying to figure out how they work. And this effect we all have certain associations with. But the idea is that <laughs> Something's going to come spurting out. 
Ledo resists the structure of choreography. Instead, he encourages salt farm dancers to improvise within an evolving framework. He just throws us out there. And the best way I can explain it is it's sort of like a fish in a school. Like, you get a feeling of where the rest of the school is, and sometimes it's just this amazing synchronicity that comes out of it. To me, beauty is honesty. It's not about uh, choreography itself. You can do the most ridiculous movement, but if you're fully in that and be present with that, then it's beautiful. Looking straight ahead, choose a person in the audience and just look directly at them. And that's it for today. Thank you. Two weeks later, the piece is still something of a mystery to the Salt Farm members, even as they ready themselves to perform. Exactly on schedule. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of like this all the time, I think. Like, we don't really know what's going on fully, and it's kind of chaotic. But um, we always manage to pull it off somehow. Leto obviously is the mentor, and he directs and guides. Okay. Whereas us, we, we are all doing, doing our parts to, to go somewhere, exactly where we don't know. We are all exploring it together. I feel like this is just the first step into you know, diving into my culture. But that's just the window to enter and then creating something of a universal understanding that connects to all of us. My aim is just for the audience to participate in the moment. And that's a hard task, but in order for them to be present, I have to be present. The dancers have to be present. Why do we want to be present? Because in the present, we are not suffering in this moment. It's only the past and the future that we dwell in all our suffering. <laughs>